Hi everyone, it's Skylar. Welcome back to the channel. How are you all doing? I hope you do very well. I've got me coffee. My toast is done, so I'm happy. So yeah, this is day 23.2 of 31 days of top 10 lists. I did say I still had the word foreign, but we're changing it up a little bit. This is actually top 10 foreign horror movies I've not seen but would like to watch or see. So let's get into the list. This list probably might not take too long, which is good because I'm still zombied and I've still got. I've actually got mascara on my eye. Yeah, so. That's all I look like without glasses. <laughs> I've already seen already, so yeah. So let's get into this list, number 10. 2022. The movie is called You Won't Be Alone and it's from North Macedonia. I've never ever seen a movie from Macedonia or North Macedonia. Um, so yeah, and I'm intrigued. I do want to watch it actually. Intrigued to watch it. So number nine is from Denmark. I have heard of this movie, but I've not seen it. So from 1973, from Denmark, The Sinful Dwarf. Number eight, I've heard so many, so many good things about this next movie. And then the rest down, I've not, not seen or not heard that about them. So let's get back to number eight. 2015, from Turkey. Yep, you guessed it, it's Baskin. I've heard so many good things about this movie and I really, really am intrigued to watch it. But when I get close to watch it, I, I end up watching something else. So Seven is from 2006. This was set in the Netherlands and Belgium. This is Slaughter Night. Six from 2005. From Greece, this is evil. I have seen quite a few Greek movies, but they're more along the disturbing line. So if they can do, they can do disturbing as well as they can. I'm sure this would be good. So brings me on to five. We're going to Germany. 2013, The Forbidden Girl. I have not seen it. It's one of the only few German. Horrors, foreign horrors I've not seen. Um, I have seen a lot of Olaf, Olaf Ittenbach. If you like, if you've heard of the director Olaf Ittenbach and Marion Dora, they do some pretty up, fucked up, gory, disturbing movies <laughs> between the two of them. But Olaf Ittenbach goes to more uh, along the lines of gory horror. So I know this is going to be a little bit different. I just got this feeling this is going to be a bit different. So anyway, number four, from Germany to Thailand. And I have seen a couple of Thai movies, especially Shutter. Shutter is well shot. So from 2002, and I've not seen this movie, which is Demonic Beauty. So I'm actually surprised that this country actually has a movie, a foreign horror, because it's set in their language, which is weird, because <laughs> usually they do films in English. It's, But this is the first film, I, if I do get to watch it, it would be in this language. 2002, in Maltese, in the Malta language, from Malta, it's Machine Nation. Oh, yeah. Machine Nation. Mach it's Machine Nation. Yeah. They have brought out a movie. And I really want to watch it. So from Malta to number two, we're going to Egypt. 1987. Egypt does a lot of quite good, um, I'd say more along the supernatural lines. And I've heard this is supposed to be good. Sai has seen this movie in the past. He said it was quite good. He said this was not his best. That's why it wasn't on his list. 
but this he said I do need to watch it which is the cursed house so from number two to number one top of the shop of the top 10 foreign horror I've not seen but I would like to watch and you'll be surprised that the, this country does do horror and it's only one of I think it's three or four horror movies that they have done in this country 2008 in Morocco yes this is a Moroccan horror film they are Moroccans are usually renowned if they do movies it's more along the romantic side or comedy not horror they don't really usually delve into horror and I found this in the wild I've actually saved it to one of me you know I've saved it so I can watch it when I get a chance so this is called Candisha and it is from Morocco <laughs> oh man I've heard so like so many good things and I need to watch it so back to my list top 10 foreign horror I've not seen but would like to see or watch 10 2022 from North Macedonia you won't be alone 9 1973 from Denmark the sinful dwarf 8 2015 from Turkey Baskin 7 from the Netherlands and Belgium, 2006, Slaughter Night. Six, 2005, from Greece, Evil. Five, from Germany, 2013's The Forbidden Gale. Four, from Thailand, 2002's Demonic Beauty. I don't get don't get Demonic Beauty ever confused with Dumplings because it's completely different. They're completely different movies. So, I've, because like this is something else. Dumplings is about a woman that stays young because she eats dumplings that have got fetuses of a baby, which is gross in itself. This is completely different. Just wanted to just because it's like a career, but it's it's like got Thai elements to it. If that makes sense, to so dumplings, yeah. There we go. Dumplings is Korean. Sorry, but I don't want people to get the movies come mixed up because they're two completely different ones. So yeah, Thailand 2002, Demonic Beauty. Three, Malta 2022, Machine Nation. Machine Nation. However you pronounce it. So don't quote me on whatever about number four, just because I told you I suffer with brain freeze a lot. But I do do my research on a lot of a lot of the stuff. So don't if you haven't got anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Especially with what happened to me. So anyway, number two, 1987 is the cursed house, and number one, top of the shop of top ten foreign horror I have not seen but would like to see or watch, is from 2008 in Morocco. And it's Candisha. 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 Yeah. So, yeah, that's my list. Both my lists done for today. So, 2020. So, two, uh, day 24.1 of 31 days. It's my turn. We had size on the 16th. We've got my turn tomorrow. It's my favourites. It's my favourite horror movies of all time. And I think you're going to enjoy this. Because you're going to find out what my favourite horror movie is. And it's not what you think. That's what I will say. So we have that. And then... Oh, we got a good one for point two. Which I'll tell you more about tomorrow. So yeah, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the list. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Turn on the notification bell on. You'll get a brand new video from me very, very soon. And if I have time tomorrow, I might be filming the first part to my Sheehan haul. So yeah, stay tuned for that if I'm well enough. So yeah, I'll see you guys all tomorrow.
Stay gaudy, have unpleasant dreams, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.